All right, so this is a quick video documenting the spectacular success. Okay, maybe that's stretching things a bit. This is a video showing my uh, little homebrew aluminum melting furnace. I've got a little stand here, a little wooden stand as you can see. This is made out of a popcorn tin, one of the larger ones. Inside of the popcorn tin, we have poured a special blend of concrete, fire clay, perlite, sand, stuff like that. Uh, Basically, it, uh, it's an insulating concrete. And going into that can, we have a pipe that runs like that. It goes into the bottom of the can, and then it diffuses air into the can. It's run by an old hair dryer. We ripped out the heating element, and we basically put a DC power supply, and we're shoving voltage through it to get as much air as possible being pushed through this like a bellows. Inside of the crucible, or rather inside of the furnace, there sits a crucible. You can see the little uh, space down there where it sits. This is my high-tech crucible. It's a tin can, yes. Whether or not made out of tin, there's steel. It's only good for one, maybe two melts. I would not advise trying it. Some ears on the side of it. Uh, right there. And it's meant to be picked up with this handy dandy tool I made out of some conduit. You can see the end of the conduit has little ears on it. Some other tools you find useful would be a set of tongs like this for picking up metal and putting metal into the crucible while it's in the fire because obviously you don't want to stick your hand in there. And a spoon for collecting dross, and I'll show you what that is in a second. Today I was trying out a new fuel source. Instead of using charcoal, I was using fuel pellets. Man, those things burn really well. Not too much smoke either. All right. This is what today netted us. We tossed in seven aluminum cans and one small aluminum hard drive bracket. Oh, maybe the size of your hand. Really thin stuff, not too much metal in it. It's probably about half of what's in this nugget that you see here. You look nice and shiny nugget. It's still hot, so I'm not really in the mood to go and pick it up with my hand. You can see it's all shiny. The pop cans make it shiny. The other metal probably wouldn't have been nearly as shiny as this. But the problem with pop cans is you only get 50% of the metal out when you melt it. Half of it becomes dross. And that's what this is right here. It's just this really crappy mix of paint and dirt and grease and solvent and other mix other, other materials that are mixed into the can that we just don't really need. So there we have it. And just for the record, it usually takes about 100 pop cans to make a decent sized brick, from what I understand. That is a brick that you would build a house out of. So that takes a lot of pop cans to make one brick of aluminum. Anyway, that's my fun documentary. That is all for today. Goodbye.